Coach, this game for me looked it kind of reminded me of the Youngstown one a couple weeks ago, but I want to hear your thoughts on a sense. The first two periods really looked like Chicago Sioux hockey. Yeah, I, I really thought the first period was a great period, and you know we didn't get rewarded on on the scoreboard, but I, we generated a ton. We didn't give up much at all, um, and it's really good to see us play against a high quality opponent like Green Bay uh, to that level. Um, there was a little bit of lull there in the second once we went up, and I, the same thing kind of happened in the third. We actually played some good hockey in the third, and then I think it's all you know—it's a immature response to a lead that late in the game. Like you think the game's over. They have veteran players over there. They got guys who can play at a high level. Um, they responded. The one thing I will say is I was really happy with our group's response uh, when it was four-four. You know, it's it's easy to not to, to just kind of sit there sulk especially with young young players and i thought we really really responded especially after giving up a shorty our power play came up big there what did you like most about your team after the long layoff yeah i thought the work that we did during the week was impressive um you know we had a, we had a decently long layoff we uh we had to go back to small group work um, because of protocols and i felt like the guys were just really, really excited to be back here, and uh, we pushed them hard last week. So, you know, sometimes you do that, they can be a little fatigued going into the weekend, but I, I, I felt like our guys were just so excited to be back as a group, and they really pushed to get better. What's one thing tomorrow afternoon that you want to see that wasn't there tonight? Yeah, I, I do think that just consistency when things are going well, it's the same thing. Like, you know, you, you get these opportunities, get these opportunities, and you kind of get away from your game because you're not scoring. The reason we're getting those opportunities is because of how we play, and we can even do that better, you know. So that just continuing to play to our, our style as much as possible. Mix up the uh, line combinations a little bit. Did yep. you see any uh, combinations that stood out? Oh, I, I liked all four lines tonight, honestly. Um, like, I, I thought Gleason's line was really good. Obviously, they didn't have as, as much many minutes together, but I thought they did a really good job. Dawson Pasternak gave us really good minutes. You know, Quinn Finley hadn't played in a long time. I thought he played really well. Uh, but it was it was good to mix up uh, the veterans with some of the younger players. I feel like our, our first-year players are really coming along. Um, they're starting to understand our concepts, our systems, and and I thought that we had a lot more depth throughout our lineup playing this way than, than we had uh, previously. But I, I like the way that we've structured our lineup throughout the year, going with older guys together to start, and now, now just uh, sprinkling the older and young guys together. Coach, lastly, talk about the goal tank night because I thought it was great on both sides. Yeah, I, I, re I really did. I thought uh, Davis for Green Bay was unbelievable. Like he, he really stabilized the game for them early, and then you know, for Nick, he didn't face many chances. Then all of a sudden, he's got a ton of chances. You know, uh, and made big saves when we needed them, and was very composed back there. And the one thing I, I think he does a really good job um, on extended possessions for the opponent. He gets covers. He stalls out the play. We get a face off and, and calms the game down. So I'm really happy with where he's at.